Are you thinking about buying a used machine? Be careful. Should I buy this used CNC machine? It's a great brand. Look at it. I mean, look. It comes with two fourth axes, which means it's a five axis. I mean, they got extra weight covers and look, I just found a replacement spindle. This motor looks new. Oh good, it comes with clamps. Those are included free. Oh, good thing. It comes with a drawbar. Oh, this will help me if I have to work on it again. Oh, tooling too. Thank goodness. I won't have to buy tooling. It's such a good CNC. They might even give it to me. The spindle rotates. That's a really good sign. The tool changer has all 20 tools. Well, maybe it did at one point. Smells fresh, like the smell of burnt electronics in the morning. This will definitely be able to make my home parts for cheap, fast, and easy. No problems at all. The shop even offered to load it for free. I'll be saving that much money. All I've gotta do is just hook up lights to that plug. It'll be as good as new. The shop said they always ran hydraulic oil for coolant, so the bearings will be perfect. They said they were having finish problems and they got a new drawbar, so I could use this one if I have finish problems too. The electrical cabinet looks immaculate. Oh look, another free tool. And this note here that says, do not run. That must be because they unplugged it. They said they've only ever cut aluminum, and I can tell, definitely only aluminum. Old CNC machines are something to watch out for. Here's a list of really old machines that I would try to avoid. Cincinnati, Ouya, Old Mori's, Old Matsuras, Hitachi Sikis, Old Bridgeports, Old Kitamuras, Old Fadals, Old Hazes, G&Ls, Old Mazex, heavy old hydraulic iron, plastic hoses, HS hoses. There are more, but those I would be sure to stay away from if you're looking at getting a cheap old used machine. What is old? It's based off the control and the heavy iron. PC based controls, retrofits, stay away. Old Yasnak, Fanuc, zero control and older. Anything with a front end, old Mitsubishi, Old Hitachi, low memory, slow RS-232, slow, 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 tool changers, uh-uh. The cost to repair something if it breaks on this old machine versus the profitability on it, that's where you need to weigh. You might get this machine for a great deal, but it might be really expensive to fix and you might never make any money off of it. I wanna help you get a good deal, get a good machine and make money. Things you wanna stay away from when looking to buy an old machine. Does the machine have yellow fanic motors? Does it have a DC spindle motor or DC servo motors? Is it easy to get parts? Is the company still in business? How heavy is it? Are you gonna be able to easily get rid of it when you outgrow it? Or are they just giving it away? You may have gotten this machine for a great deal or free, but you still may have to pay to rig it, to transport it, and then unload it. Cost of tooling up. You may have to get a rotary or a solid state converter. You may have to add wiring to your shop. You're gonna need an air compressor, tooling, all of those add up, and you don't wanna be spending it on a machine that isn't gonna last that long. Cost factor. Consider what you paid for the machine, how much money you can make, and how much it would cost to repair this machine. You may have to replace the ball screws, the spindle, the spindle motor, the servos, or an amplifier. See if those are available and make sure they're on a reasonable price for the machine you're buying. You might be thinking after all of this, I'm never gonna buy a used machine. There are good used machines out there. Those machines have electrical schematics, they have factories that are still supporting the mechanical and electrical parts. Lots of people have them and lots of people can service them. Just don't buy a dinosaur. Good luck to you. I want you to get a machine, put it in your home garage and live the dream. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and keep following along for more videos. If you do buy a dinosaur, be sure to give me a call. 509 911 <laughs>